If you write C++, you probably love the ternary operator. It turns 5 lines of clunky if-else logic into one clean readable line. But if you're using Microsoft's compiler, this line is a trap. Let's review the basics. Normally, when you return an object from a function, that object has to be moved or copied. To avoid this cost, there are two main ways compilers perform copy elision. First, there is named return value optimization. Then there is unnamed return value optimization. For years, good compilers have done both. But there is a massive difference in modern C++. In C++ 17, unnamed return value optimization stopped being just an optimization. It became the law. According to the standard, PR values are returned and used without ever materializing a temporary. Quick note, a PR value is basically a value with no name. Think of the result of an expression or calling the constructor directly. So in other words, after C++ 17, here we have guaranteed copy elision. No copy or move will happen. If we go back to the original example, here printer is no longer an object. It's a blueprint. It cannot be moved because it doesn't exist yet. So return flag printer1 or printer2 is a PR value. It must be constructed in place. Let's see what MSVC does. We just saw a move. That means MSVC created a temporary object, materialized it and then moved it. It completely ignored the unmaterialized value passing rule of C++ 17. If only copy is available and this function runs inside your game loop, you are now paying for a massive allocation and memory copy 60 times a second. You just kill your frame rate with one clean line of code. You are fighting the compiler for a bug that shouldn't exist in the first place. If we switch to GCC or Clank, Everything is working clean and correct. In MSVC, the bug is ugly but necessary. Switch back to if else. And peace is restored. Zero copies, zero moves. Code readability is great, but until Microsoft fixes this bug, stick to if else for returning objects by value. Subscribe for more C++ deep dives and I'll see you in the next one.